So for this job, um, we need a T20 Torx drive um, and the new filter. Now the option I've gone for is the active carbon version, uh, which is a step above the usual pollen filter. Um, it's a very easy job to do. Um, there's just literally a single plastic pop um, rivet that's used for panel work. You pull that out. Um, I know from previous experience on this particular car, the back uh, brackets have been broken, but it's no big drama. A tiny bit of double-sided tape um, fixes it on the way back in again. So the first thing we need to do is get this out and you literally just give it a pull. Now it comes off very easily on this one. I doubt it will be that easy on others. And what you can see there is this has already been double-sided tape before. And what you should have in a normal setup is you should have a couple of little clips there and there, but there, as I say, on this one it's been broken, but no big drama. So I'll get that out of the way. to get into the footwell and you can see there you have I'm not as agile as I used to be one two three four so I just get those off easier if I was 30 years younger and not so fat <laughs> not working inside my garage but anyway <laughs> such is life adapt and overcome as they say So now we just need to get this off, that cover, and then you can see in there, you can see the actual filter itself now, and it just needs a bit of wiggling to get out. Get a finger on it and give it a wiggle, and out it comes like that. caught up by everything that's above it. <sighs> On this particular car, it's a little bit more difficult because somebody put the alarm system right in the way of getting the filter in, so it's a bit more of a wiggle. But anyway, there she goes in there and now it's really just a case of putting the putting the cover back over and screwing all back together again so there it is screwed back in and now we just need to get the panel line it up <coughs> trim screw back in, sorry the trim rivet and there it is 
is back together again. Easy little job to do.